There was Riddle and Shinsuke Nakamura and the newest idiot with a guitar, not Elias, but the guy that makes Elias look like Luthez, this over-the-top, screaming, honking, howling individual were in the back and they acted stupid and did some bad comedy. And then we got another match. And this one was the match that you said you had the the all the problems with or the most difficulties with no, this the was, second. This was, I think, the only match I had problems with because what happened was all of a sudden the feed started just flickering and you would get black and then every three seconds you'd get an image and then it would flicker to another image and go back to black. It was unbearable. Obviously, no one could watch in that way. It was easy to watch a scrambled image on pay-per-view years ago. And I thought it was just me, and it turned out it was everyone on Peacock, and I didn't get to see any of that match until I saw Big E celebrate. That's it. Well, you didn't miss much. Uh, the eight-man, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-man ladder money in the bank match involving Kevin Owens, Riddle, Matt Ridd. Does he have a first, he has a first name again? I don't know. I know that that lawsuit know. against him was just dropped. So I think they may add his first name back, but we'll see. I I try to fast forward anything he's involved in at this point because he's just gotten into just completely, I mean, stupid silly. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Ricochet, John Morrison, Big E, Seth Rollins, and Drew McIntyre. Random observations as I was skipping through the entrances trying to get to the meat of this matter. Riddle does not have birds fly out of his ass anymore when he's introduced. I guess that was too tough to do in front of people. They were actually going to have to get legitimate pigeons and shove them up his fucking sphincter and have them fly out. They couldn't computer generate it now that the fans are back. This Boogs fellow came out with a guitar in front of a microphone and screamed and howled and screamed some more and played horrible guitar music for Shinsuke Nakamura, who came down the aisle acting like he was having convulsions or seizures or possibly a series of strokes, or he was being raised from the dead by the ancient curse of Imhotep. I don't know what the fuck. Miz came out with Morrison, but Miz is in a wheelchair. He came out to the stage or the top of the ramp with him or whatever, not the ramp, but the aisle way now. This is, you've got five or six. I would say I've, I've said five guys in here that everybody knows has not one snowball's chance in a hot oven of winning this thing. Owens is an iffy one. I, so I really put it at this had to be either Seth or McIntyre just on the way that people have been presented. But what the fuck? Again, an eight-man ladder match for no purpose. The baby faces fight the baby faces. The heels fight the heels. Guys do moves to each other in random succession when six of the eight guys in the match randomly disappear so that the other two can have the stage. And then they exchange themselves in and out and add multiple ladders. I got to be honest with you, I started reading Rock Rims' biography of Roy Shire and zoned out on a lot of this. Um, I would look up every once in a while. Drew McIntyre hit a dive over the top on six guys. <laughs> Thankfully, everybody somehow accidentally ends up all in the same place whenever a big guy jumps over the top rope. Um... And then when he did the dive, then three guys hit the fucking ring, not in the match, three guys not in the match, or as as best as I could tell, not affiliated with anybody in this match, hit the ring, beat up Drew McIntyre, hit him with several chair shots, and drag him out of the arena, all in full view of the fans, the referee, and everybody else. But it's no DQ. Lazy booking. Who were those people? I, they, I heard the announcers saying names, but I did not catch the names, recognize the names, understand the names. I didn't see any of this. Oh, I forgot. You didn't see it. Well, I tried to fast forward some to get out of that fucking mess because now I'm just <laughs> disgusted with this whole thing. Uh, but before I could grab the remote ricochet, 
jumped into that. As soon as these three individuals attack, pummel, and kidnap Drew McIntyre, and the match is continuing to go on, Ricochet immediately follows it up with some great acrobatics and hopefully Ringling Brothers or Cirque de Boucher or some fine organization will hire him and get him out of the fucking wrestling ring. Ringling Brothers is closed. Well, it, did he work for them too? No, no, he did not. Imagine that. Well, anyway, they did some acrobatics. Then they had more ladders and I couldn't take it anymore. So I fast forwarded some more. And then I stopped because I saw something. I said, well, I better back up here. Someone may have died. Seth Rollins powerbombed Kevin Owens over the top rope onto a metal ladder that was bridging the ring apron and the announce desk. And the ladder snapped directly in half and Owens landed on the back of his fucking head. And I'm not laughing to say I hope he was hurt. I'm laughing to say, why the fuck? Would you give someone that move, and why the fuck would that person take it? But that's that's been Owens or Steen ever since I've known him. You couldn't fucking talk him out of this shit. So he not only lost this match, but he was powerbombed over the top rope, threw a metal ladder to the floor on the back of his head, and could have broke his fucking neck easily. And that's when I said, fuck this whole thing. And guess who won? Big E! Big E, one of the people I considered one of the fucking job guys that wouldn't have a chance to win this, but I forgot that none of this shit has to make any sense, and they're not just giving top people shots at their top titles. To those fans, to the fans who like the moron WWE type stuff, he's a big star to them. Well, that's the thing. Now, I think there are some other big stars when you see them on these shows it becomes quite apparent who's a big star and who really isn't in the general scheme of things. But in the world of stupidity, that is WWE. He's a big star. Well, he won. So we got that going for us. 